Hey, hello friends. Welcome back to final part of this strategy where we earn huge profits, almost 100% returns every year with an easiest and simplest intraday concept. And since this is an intraday strategy, we don't need to have any kind of overnight stress because we never know what might happen overnight, right? Some nuclear attack or any other black swan event might happen and markets literally crash 10 or 15% next day. But since we enter in intraday, that to after 10 a.m., chances of happening that is almost zero. Okay, as always, I'll take a few seconds to introduce myself. This is Raj and 30CAGR.com is my blog. Entire content in my blog revolves around two concepts. One is how working professionals can make huge fortune in the long run. And the second is how full-time traders can trade in intraday options and earn consistent monthly return. So make sure that you visit my blog and make use of information published there. And of course, if you wish to receive interesting strategies that actually make money in stock market, then immediately subscribe to my channel by hitting on subscribe button and click on bell icon. All right, let's recap quickly what we have discussed in first and second part of this strategy. These are the six most important rules that we have to follow in this ISS strategy. First is we trade only in index options that is nifty or bank nifty because we have huge huge volumes in this because of which it is scalable in nature and the percentage of slippages are also less. And then the core of this entire concept is that we enter into short straddle every day in the morning. We sell one call option and one put option of ATM strike price and we sell that at current market price without any negotiations. You have to do that exactly at the same time without even a difference of five seconds. You have to sell both call and put options at the same time. And once after you enter into the trade, you maintain a stop loss of 40% on each individual leg. By that I mean, if stop loss of one leg gets executed, we still hold the other leg, but we will not exit our entire position. And coming to entry and exit timings, we enter into this strategy between 10 and 11 a.m. And if you have capital to trade in multiple lots, we will space out between 10 to 11 a.m. and enter in a staggered manner. As for the exit, we exit between 3 to 3.15 p.m. Because we have seen in the backtesting results that entering and exiting in these time frames will give us maximum profits. And last but not the least, we trade only in weekly options because we get maximum profits in weekly options because of theta or time decay. And then we also discussed one of the two important concepts in previous part, which is really a game changer. And that's nothing but why we will never achieve profits that we see in backtesting results if we trade manually. And one primary reason for that is invisible prices where our stop loss gets executed. If you haven't watched the first two parts, I highly recommend you to watch them and come back because those are really like the building blocks of this strategy. And in this video, we are going to discuss the second game changing concept that is risk and money management. All right. So the first make or break concept is manual trading. And before moving into the second concept, which is risk and money management, let me actually ask you this. Why should all this short straddle strategy work? Or for that matter, why option sellers always win over option buyers? To understand this better, let me give you a small example or analogy that we can relate to our real-time trading. And that's nothing but casino. Have you ever thought how casino company always ends up in profits over long term? That's because they have three powerful concepts using which they can win under any circumstances. And in fact, if you have these three powerful concepts, you can win and be a profitable person in any business. And the first of that is statistical edge. You need to have a statistical edge in every transaction that you perform. It could be as little as 1% or even less than that. But the point is you need to have some kind of statistical edge. Let me tell you what I mean by that. If you have ever been to casino, you must have played roulette, right? Let me not get into the details of the game and all, but imagine this simple example. 
you put a small ping pong ball on this table and spin the wheel and let's say there are 36 numbers you had a bet with your friend saying that if the ball stops on any number between 1 to 18 your friend has to give you 100 bucks and if it stops on any number between 19 to 36 then you have to give 100 bucks to your friend so here the probability of ball stopping on 1 to 18 is same as the ball stopping on 19 to 36 in both the cases the probability is 50 percent now let's imagine this you've introduced a couple more numbers which is zero and double zero and you have put these two numbers in your favor so you said that if the ball stops on any number between 1 to 18 plus zero or double zero then your friend has to give you 100 bucks but if the ball stops between 19 and 36 then as usual you have to give 100 bucks now in this case you have a little bit of edge because it's not 18 numbers that you have but 20 numbers on which the ball can stop so the probability of you winning in the long run increases to around 53 percent and your friend just has 47 percent this is the statistical edge that i'm talking about you need to have some kind of advantage so that in long run you always win to know how that happens we need to look at the next two points bet size casinos ensure that the bet size they allow from the other party is limited in this example they might allow people only to bet from 1 rupee to 100 rupees and not beyond that that's because even if they lose then they lose only 100 rupees maximum let's get back to our example we know that we have 53 percent advantage and our friend has only 47 percent advantage but if we roll the ball do you have a guarantee that the ball only lands on 1 to 18 or double zero or zero no it might land on 19 to 36 also in that particular instance so if you bet a huge sum of money then you might lose your entire capital in that so what casinos do is they know that they might lose some games and they win some games so when they lose they don't want to lose heavy that's the reason they put a table limit and then the third is number of bits this actually makes this entire concept very powerful you have to tie the third concept with the second concept so that you gain small bits of profit in each transaction and over long run it gives you a huge wealth in this example we know that we have 53 percent probability now let's say we have a bet of just 10 rupees in each transaction and as i said if you just play it once you might lose if you play it twice you might lose but if you keep playing for 100 times you know that you win 53 times and lose 47 times so for 53 times you get 530 rupees and then when you lose 47 times you lose 470 so end of the day you will still gain 60 rupees which is nothing but 6% which is the difference between these two probabilities so that's the power of statistical edge casinos do this hundreds and thousands of time over a long run so that on an average in every transaction they take a little bit of profit and that sums up to a huge huge money in long run now how is this related to option selling it is related to option selling because option sellers also have these three powerful concepts first is theta or time decay this is the statistical edge that we have all the backtesting results that you have seen most of it is because of theta or time decay every passing day even if market doesn't move anywhere option prices still come down and that's because of theta and this is the statistical edge that option sellers have over option buyers and then the second is position sizing as i said this is very very important when we trade we need to ensure that we don't lose much capital even if we lose a particular trade so we need to ensure that we only risk very small amount of our capital in every transaction and then the third is large number of trades we need to keep trading again and again at least for hundreds of times so that whatever statistical edge that we have will start giving us some profits so all these three powerful concepts tied together will give us an unimaginable profit in long run okay 
now comes the most important and critical concept this is the second make or break deal that i'm going to tell you risk and money management first is about capital you need to make sure that you keep minimum 1 lakh aside for one short straddle pair some people ask me that to trade in a short straddle pair in intraday we just need 30000 or 40000 right yes if you want to trade a short straddle pair in intraday it may just take 30 to 40000 if you want to do it as a positional trader it might take around 1 1.3 lakh but for intraday it is very less that's because in intraday the chances of you losing more than 30 40000 is very unlikely and all these broken terminals have their risk systems in place so if you are going to lose more than what you have invested then their risk systems will automatically square off the position so for that reason instead of taking 1 or 1.5 lakh they just take 30 to 40000 for one short straddle pair but the reason why i am asking you to keep 1 lakh aside is if you remember when we have seen the back testing results the drawdown for this strategy is around 25 to 30000 and if you start this trading strategy with just 30,000 or 40,000 capital, and if your drawdown is 30,000, then you are almost losing all your capital, which is very dangerous for your portfolio. Let's say you lost 2,000 rupees today, and this loss stream continued for the next 10 trading sessions. So after 10 trading sessions, your loss would be 20,000 rupees out of your capital 40,000. And so the amount that you are left with is just 20,000. Now with 20,000 rupees, you can't even take one short straddle pair. And let's imagine from there you got 20 sessions continuous profits. But still you miss it because you don't have capital to trade this short straddle pair. Also there are numerous other reasons why you shouldn't start this strategy with just 40,000 capital even if it is enough initially. Let me take another scenario. In this case, you decided to take 60,000 rupees aside for one short straddle instead of one lakh. And so if you have six lakhs as your capital, you can take 10 sets, right? Now, as per backtesting results, we saw that 30K is the drawdown after taking one person slippage into account, which means for 10 sets, you lose three lakh rupee because for one set, you have dedicated 60,000 and 50% is your drawdown. So for 10 sets, if you put 6 lakhs, then your capital would become 3 lakhs. Now imagine a case where you can still go ahead and take 10 sets even after getting a loss of 3 lakhs. But still you wouldn't do that because your confidence will be so very down that you wouldn't even attempt to take another trade. But instead, imagine you kept 1 lakh aside and so for 6 lakhs, you only take 6 sets instead of 10 sets as we have seen in the earlier case. In this case also, drawdown is 30k, but you will only lose 1.8 lakhs this time instead of 3 lakhs. That's because we have taken only 6 sets. So 6 into 30k is 1.8 lakh. So if you deduct 1.8 lakh from your capital of 6 lakhs, you will still be left with 4.2 lakh which is nothing but 70% of your capital. Since you have 70% of your capital still remaining, you can again trade confidently. For that matter, if you are a very, very conservative trader, then I would suggest you to take 2 lakhs aside for each short straddle pair. Yes, your returns will be down by half. In this case, we saw that we get around 100% returns per year. But since you are taking 2 lakhs, your returns will be 50% at the end of the year. But your drawdown will also be down by half because this time we are only trading in three sets but not six sets. And let's say our drawdown is again 30,000, but this time since we have only traded in three sets, total loss would be 90,000. If you deduct 90,000 from 6 lakhs, you will still be having 5.1 lakh, which is 85%. So imagine a case where you got continuous losses, but still you were down only by 15% and you still have 85% of your capital. That gives you immense confidence to get back into the game. But as I said, your returns will also be down massively by 50%. My suggestion is start with 1 lakh, 
for one pair of short straddle but continue doing it even if you see 25 to 30 percent of drawdown for traders who can take moderate risk and want very high returns this is the best method to choose so take one lakh aside for one short straddle even if you lose 30,000 continuously, you will still have 70,000, which allows you to have some cushion and you can always come back into the game. And then the second is, as I said, have 40% stop loss per leg. Since you have 40% stop loss, you are ensuring that you're not blowing up your entire portfolio. And then the next very important concept is do not change your capital for at least a year. I see that when people start earning profits they keep increasing the quantity within two or three months but you should never do that maintain same quantity for at least one year and only then you can change your capital that's because let's say you got continuous profits of two months and then you suddenly increased the quantity and thereafter again three or four months you got losses now the amount of losses that you got in those three months is way more than the profits that you gained in the first two months which will be detrimental to your portfolio so ensure that you maintain the same capital for entire one year and then you can change the capital for the next year and last but not the least diversification this is my favorite part because i keep diversifying my capital into nifty options and bank nifty options that's because this further reduces the drawdowns of our portfolio First in diversification is Nifty and Bank Nifty. Let's say you have 2 lakhs capital. You put 1 lakh in Nifty options short straddle and then another lakh in Bank Nifty short straddle. Because if Nifty is at loss on any day or week, Bank Nifty might come at rescue. And if Bank Nifty is at loss, Nifty might give us some profits. So make sure that you split your capital into both Nifty and Bank Nifty. And then the second is Take entries at different time intervals. We already have discussed about this. Uh, again, if you have 10 lakhs capital, first I would allocate 5 lakhs to Nifty and 5 lakhs to Bank Nifty. Even in 5 lakhs Nifty, I would enter one lot at 10 o'clock, one at 10.15, 10.30, 10.45 and 11 o'clock. Same way, I take 5 different entries in Bank Nifty as well. These two layers of diversification helps us a lot in terms of drawdowns. At the same time, since we have different entries, we will have different stop losses as well. And end of the day, maybe some stop losses might hit, but others might give us profits. All right, now let's summarize what are those three make or break concepts that will actually give profits in this strategy. First is no manual trade whatsoever. As we all discussed, if you trade manually, you will only realize after six months or one year that you have wasted a lot of time, effort and money. Because most of the times you find that your practical trades and backtesting results match. Out of 22 trades, maybe 19 to 20 days you find trades are matching. But then those two or three days where you will end up in loss and backtesting results show profit, those two or three days actually make the difference in the long run they have the capacity to bring even 100% profits to maybe 10% or 20%. Even you might end up in loss as well. So no manual trade whatsoever. And then the next is risk and money management. As I told you, please follow all the risk and money management concepts that we have discussed. And then the last is PPD, patience, persistence and discipline. You need to have these three things only then you will succeed in this strategy. Talking about patience, Many times you see that there is no profit or loss in your trading account. That's because all you need to have to see average monthly profit is two or three profitable trades. So let's say you traded for the first 17 or 18 days and nine are profitable and nine are loss trades and end of 18 trading sessions you felt like there is no profit or loss. That is very common in this strategy. Because maybe in the last two or three trading sessions, you get a continuous streak of profits, which will give you average monthly profits for that month. So you need to have so much patience if you want to succeed in this strategy. Most of the times you see that there is no profit or loss in your account. But if you continuously keep doing it end of the year, you will see profits for sure. You cannot just trade for a week or month and expect profits. You might get profits as we have seen in the backtesting reports 
most of the months we end up in profits but that's not what you should expect especially the second point persistence you need to be persistent in this keep trading this again and again for at least a year only then you realize profits all right and then i want to give you a couple of personal tips that i follow first is use only mis even if you have full margin for a short straddle position in general if you want to take a short straddle pair you need around 1.2 to 1.3 lakh but as soon as you select mis that comes down to 30 or 40 thousand that's because selecting mis means you are agreeing that you will square off your positions by end of the day if you do not do that trading terminals square off your position around 315 and the reason why i'm saying only use mis is in case if you have any technical challenges or power cuts then broken firms ensure that they square off your positions at 315 whatever is your pnl position and that's very important because in this strategy we are not carry forwarding our positions to the next day because you never know anything might happen overnight so for that reason we need to ensure that our positions get squared off at 315 so in the first place anyways we ensure that we square off the position between 3 to 315 and for some reason even if we miss out on squaring off this position then broken firms ensure that they does that on your behalf so it's like really adding an extra layer of safety and then the second point is i place an extra slm in kite terminal i know that my entry and exits both happen through trading bots but because of some power cut issues or technology related glitches there is a chance that i'm not able to exit when my position hits stop loss so what i do is after giving entry and exit instructions to my trading bot i also go to kite terminal and place one extra slm 50 or 100 points away from original sl let's say we sold our call or put position at 100 rupees and 140 is our stop loss so i will give this 100 and 140 in the trading bot apart from this i also place one more stop loss that is slm in kite terminal at 190 which is really like 50 points away from 140 so if my trading bot misses to exit at 140 and if the option price shoots up higher and higher at least i can exit at 190 but if i don't place that you never know that option price might go to 300 or 400 also one most important point is let's say there is no issue and the trading bot exited your position at 140 then you need to ensure that you cancel your slm at 190 otherwise if the stock goes to 190 later then it takes this as a new position so make sure that you cancel your slm order that you placed in kite terminal once the bot exits at original stop loss and why are we placing 50 points away from original stop loss there is no hard and fast rule for that since options have tendency to move up very fast i generally prefer placing 50 points for nifty and 100 points for bank nifty remember this is just another layer of safety that we are adding to our stop loss so it doesn't matter whether you put 25 points or 50 points but what's important is to have another stop loss and cancel it once the trading bot executes at our original stop loss now let's discuss a bit about why use a trading bot for this strategy first is an obvious reason that it is humanly impossible to replicate our profit and losses with backtesting results if you manually trade because sometimes exchange exits our position but we don't see that price in the backtesting results or on your broker charts so this is the most important reason why we use trading bots and then the second is we can exactly enter at same time every day if you trade manually it is never possible for you to enter into a position exactly at the same time every day at least you will have a difference of a few seconds but if you trade using a bot you don't have that problem you can exactly enter at same time every day and then the third is if you remember i told you that we need to take both call option and put option at the same time and if you trade manually it might not be possible with all broken terminals first you either take call or put wait for 5-10 seconds and then you enter into other option 
So you need a bot that sends orders of both call option and put option exactly at the same time. And then the fourth is this bot is capable of entering into both Nifty and Bank Nifty at the same time. Just like you are entering call option and put option at the same time, it's also suggested to take both Nifty and Bank Nifty at the same time. And it is possible with this bot. And then the last is minimal or no manual intervention required. We will discuss more about this in a while. But for now, just remember that this bot requires no or minimum manual intervention. All right. Now it's time for us to discuss about some of the costs involved in this strategy. First is slippage. As I told you, any strategy in this world has to have some slippage. And since we are trading in options, amount of slippage would be less, but still we have taken huge 1% slippage aside. So in fact, practically you observe more profits than what you get in the backtesting. And then the second is brokerage. We have seen this aspect as well. But again, brokerage that we need to take aside is far less than what we are earning in this strategy. And the third is API. What is this API cost? Since we are using this algo trading, we need to pay some bit of amount to brokerages. Remember, I am providing you bot absolutely for free of cost. You don't need to pay even a penny. But for you to use the trading bot, you need to pay some kind of API charges to your broker who allows your trading bot to communicate with exchange. So generally zero the charges around 2000 rupees per month. And if it is up stocks, it charges around 1000. And that doesn't really matter because even if you pay 2000 rupees end of the year, you end up paying around 24,000. And as we have seen in the results, even after taking a huge amount of slippage, brokerage or API charges, still you will end up in massive profits after every year. One other point worth noting here is these API costs are not dependent on how many lots you trade. Even if you trade one lot, you are going to pay 2000 rupees per month. And even if you trade 10 lots, you are still going to pay only 2000 rupees to Zeroda, which means if you increase the number of lots, then these expenses per lot comes down. And that's always advisable. Same is the case with brokerage also. If the number of lots increases, brokerage also comes down. So the second and third brokerage and API, they both come down drastically per lot if the trade quantity is increased. Okay, time to discuss about the last topic, which is advantages. What are some of the key advantages of this strategy? First is, as I said, you get huge returns and it is possible that you might get 100% as well per year. Every year you might not earn 100%, but it is highly possible that you might earn some years. And let me tell you this, we are in an age where banks are struggling to give 10% returns. And I know what my wealth would be even if I get 30% CAGR. Let me show you a small graph. If you start with 10 lakhs initial capital and have 30% CAGR constantly every year, after 20 years, your capital would be absolutely 19 crores. That's because the amount of returns that you get every year increase exponentially. It's not constant. First year with 30% returns, you just earned 3 lakhs. But in the last year, you earn around 4 crores and the amount of return that you get is still 30%. And we have not changed what we have done. If you look at the graph also, initially it is more horizontal, but as you keep growing, it becomes vertical. Vertical is nothing but exponential. You get more and more returns in final years. And that's precisely why financial experts say that start investing in early ages. Anyway, the point here is even if you earn 50 to 70 percent returns, very shortly you and your children are going to lead a luxurious life. And then the second is very simple strategy and no analysis required. As I initially told you in this strategy, we don't need to do any technical analysis, any financial analysis. All you have to do is go take a short straddle around 10 o'clock in the morning and exit at 3 or 3.15 if stop loss is not hit. Make sure that you maintain a stop loss of 40%. That's all you have to do in this strategy. And then no costly softwares involved. You don't need to spend for any subscription. You just need a bot which is also available for free of cost. And then no overnight position. I like this pretty much because we don't need to take any overnight tension. 
especially when you are trading in options let's say there is a nuclear attack or some black swan event happening then you are going to lose a lot in options and since we are trading in intraday the chances of losing beyond 40 percent is very rare and then it is scalable in nature let's say today you started with one lakh or two lakhs and over a period of time it became one crore and as we already discussed we will take one lakh aside for one short straddle pair so if you have one crore rupee then you have to trade in 100 lots and this strategy is absolutely scalable that's because first you divide your capital between nifty and bank nifty you allocate 50 lakhs to nifty and 50 lakhs to bank nifty and then you enter at different time intervals even that 50 lakhs you enter at five different times which means all you have to do is just to put 10 lots at 10 o'clock and keep doing that after every 15 15 minutes and you'll be able to sell all 50 lots in one hour as you know selling 10 lots in nifty and bank nifty isn't really a big problem because there are huge huge volumes in both these indices and as i said initially we also need to discuss what are a few limitations of this strategy it would be unfair if i don't reveal the limitation first is you need minimum 1 lakh capital yes if you have capital less than 1 lakh please do not even attempt to start this strategy that's because if you have less than 1 lakh and you encounter continuous losses your trade psychology might hit you very badly and that might eventually end up in loss so my suggestion is please do not start this strategy unless you have at least 1 lakh capital and then the second is you need to be a full-time trader yes i am providing you the bot but still i want someone to stay in front of the terminal that's because after all we are all living in an age where we believe in technology there could be some glitches where the bot might not run or for that matter your broker terminal itself is down then you need to call them and trade right then you need to call them and ask them to place orders on your behalf so whatever be the reason what i suggest you is be in front of the terminal during market hours if you are not able to do that at least train someone who could do that for you my bot is super advanced and super easy even a layman can operate that so probably you can train how to use the bot and then ask him to stay in front of the terminal all right this brings us to the end of this strategy using which you can earn phenomenal and consistent profits every month you can also check my daily profit and losses on my blog 30cagr.com and if you want to earn using my free bot then you can whatsapp or email me using the details shown on the screen so you are really one step away from earning real money in stock market finally if you want to receive more such interesting strategies please click on subscribe button and hit on bell icon thank you and see you in the next video